Welcome to the Exploring More podcast with Michael Thompson and my partner in crime, S.J. Jennings. And we are extending our uh, Rendezvous Project um, special edition with Jeff and Dane Andreessen because, frankly, there's just more to explore. There's so much <laughs> to explore when we get together as friends. This is Not always, our- S.J., our big challenge, isn't it? Yeah, it's man. always a big challenge, and our our uh, our producer um, uh, Serena, man, we we give her plenty of uh, of, of things to uh, work with. But actually, the last the last episode we closed with this very thing, right? The the gold that sometimes gets gets hit, hits the floor or or put it on the shelf as we talk about um, you know what. Um, what kind of content that we that we were sharing, and so this is a great chance to share a little bit more. So Jeff and Dana, welcome back. Thanks. And, and, and I'd love to turn, um, if we can, and just jump right in to some of the sessions and some of the episodes. I think about you guys. I love that you, uh, amongst other episodes, that you did the intimacy, the intimacy checkup, the uh, the, the session on intimacy, and and Jeff, uh, I I got to say I I never. When I see, when I see any picture or any commercial, or I see even the, the spine of the cover of the DVD of Mr. and Mrs. Smith, I think, <laughs> I think of you. And I've got one little inside joke for you. You ready? Okay. Seven. <laughs> Seven. Nice. I like that. Oh, that's so, good. Uh, you're, anyway, you're doing well. Brad Pitt and, and Angelina Jolie in that in that story, you talk about uh, they're trying to kill each other. You know, they yeah they they become uh, each each other's um, hunter and predator actually. But uh, and in that space, uh, their marriage is restored. I, their stuff with the counselor is hilarious. It is, and 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 I think you know at our rendezvous projects, you've shown clips from that from that uh, from that film from that story. So. But that's one of my favorites because I, I've uh, the intimacy checkup session, the intimacy session that yeah. we did because we just Robin and I can just motor on, we can mm. just keep going, um, and 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 literally like a like a vehicle SJ, it can be ten thousand, twenty thousand miles before we even think about changing the oil. Right. It, it, it can be. You know, yes, we can keep putting gas in it. I'm not talking about running out of gas. I'm talking about just going and going yeah. with the pace of life, this this four letter word called busy and 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 busyness. And so to 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 park it and and to and to facilitate an intimacy checkup, I'm grateful. I'm grateful we did it, and I'm so grateful that you guys did it. It's one of my favorites in the rendezvous project. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> you know, I love that Mr. and Mrs. Smith movie because it literally is the collision of two lives lived very separately and secretly, uh, but, almost but, secretively, but, yeah. secretively uh, yeah. but had to come together and it comes to, you know, together through yeah, you, a, the big bang. You know, what's interesting is that the story is that they both work for competing spy agencies, I guess it is. Yeah. And so they come in with their own secrets and they that they can't tell each other. And then how interestingly these agencies, these agencies set to mm-hmm. pit them against each other, you mm-hmm. know? And yeah. that wow. we're gonna we're gonna ruin each other. Our goal is to see, you know, so how the enemy gets in between because when they met. They met so innocently and outside of the enemy, maybe knowing that they were going to meet. And it was a love story that they found themselves in. And then the enemy gets in there and all of a sudden it's survival of the fittest, you know? I love that. Yeah. I mean, what what marriage, what what couple, what marriage isn't an accidental meeting? Right. Yeah. Accidental meeting. I met right that way. It was, yeah. that wasn't on my calendar that day. It wasn't, it wasn't, speed, it wasn't speed dating. It, it, it wasn't, it, you know, it wasn't like that. And so these accidental meetings and then what, uh, what you said too is for a time they were, they were swords out, guns out at each other. Right. And I love in the last episode, you guys said, you know, Jeff, you shared where, what Dana and I have learned over the years is what it is to be back to back. Yeah, swords out, guns mm. out, and 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 protecting each other's six. Yeah, 
being there and what do you see in honey? What do you, what do you see in, and, and being able to weather, you know, some of these agents, the agency's attacks and, yeah. and the information that you're being given. It, it's, 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 it is the metaphor. It is the illustration, uh, at least one of, of several that we want to mm -hmm. explore in the rendezvous project, right. About, how to overcome as a couple how do you how do you yeah. weather, how do you weather this sj you had a thought yeah I, was, I just hadn't thought about it that way i'm familiar with the movie but i hadn't thought about the external agencies uh, manipulating the individuals um for their own purposes to to really just to to just to have them destroy one another yeah. Um, yeah. And when you think about the the spiritual realm, that's a reality. And listeners, uh, if you if you don't know what I mean when I say that, we we did a we've done a bunch of talks and series on that in the, on the podcast about the physical realm and the and the spiritual realm, the two realms, the two kingdoms. Um, but go back and find that in one of the previous episodes. But but the idea that that um, you know there's these external forces manipulating us that really want to destroy our our marriage and our intimacy with one another. Mm -hmm. um, and then what I, what I love about, as I think about your session on intimacy that you guys did, it's really the invitation to intimacy with one another. That's the antidote to that yeah. out external attack. Right. So, Amen. yeah. Amen. So, um, so Jeff and Dana, as a, as I think about your session, some of the feedback I've heard is that the, the first two sessions, it's, they're not, none of them are really formal in the, in the uh, formal sense of the word, right? But, but, um, but the teaching is kind of from upfront at the weekend. And then you get to session three with you guys, and it's the two of you together next to each other on a couch. And uh, some of the feedback we've gotten is that was sort of a, it was a refreshing break from sort of the teaching posture. And then it's like, okay, now we're in Jeff and Dana's living room, listening to them talk about intimacy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And the the gentleness of that, and and frankly the intimacy of that, uh, you guys being in that posture has been very powerful for cool. uh, the folks that have watched it thus far. But were there as you guys were talk, preparing to talk about intimacy and preparing to to share uh, in that session, what was there anything that was kind of stirred up in you like that you hadn't talked about before? or that you weren't familiar with in your stories or, I mean, what did that feel like preparing for that session before, for you two guys? Before you guys answer that for our audience and listeners, I just want to say, so it's session three. Wow. Intimacy. They're talking about intimacy that quickly. Yeah. And I, and I want our audience to know that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and far, if, actually far widespread than, than just um, the bedroom. This is really right. a session on knowing and being known. That's right. And knowing and being known. Because when we so associate intimacy with sex, right? It, yeah. And yes, that's in the Rendezvous Project. It's, it, we, be, we believe that's a part of marriage and God's gift uh, in, in that space. And, and yeah. yet I, I love how, you, how, we, how we got to go into intimacy. So back to SJ's question, uh, when, 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 you're, when you, um, I don't know that you volunteered or we assigned it. Yeah, I, I think, think they got volunteered. I, I think volunteered. I think yeah. either way. I think I can't remember SJ, but I think either way, we knew who, we knew who had to do yeah. that that uh, that session because it's it's um, it, it's a drumbeat uh, of your marriage, and it's something that you have weathered uh, the storms well, and it's and it's added to the intimacy that 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 you guys share, um, and I love that. Um, it's it, it's it's not just the the rules to better sex or the guideline to better um uh conflict resolution i think this this session is is a is a beautiful invitation to vulnerability mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and something that that you guys have uh have have navigated extremely well and offer that so therefore you offer that from a very humble and and sweet place so um yeah well, you, you know one of the things i've found using mr and mrs smith as a, a platform when the bomb drops uh, in your marriage, and it will. Um, I think about those movies <clears throat> like Saving Private Ryan, where they're shell-shocked for a minute there and the sound changes 
and that person's in their own world for a minute and they're very disoriented. Um, <clears throat> I've learned to come to Dana and grab her in those scenarios and look her in the eye and go, I am for you. Let's just make that really clear right now. I am for you. How do we get through this together? Mm. Because you could, you could, you can go to your own corner when you get shell shocked, uh, wondering what just happened, and yeah. try to solve this problem on your own. And in that process of coming towards her and going, "I am for you," that's when we go swords out together. And so, getting ready for the intimacy was just being honest about the bombs that have dropped in our life. Uh, and with, with regard to career loss, with regard to what happened to our kids, uh, what happened to our uh, sometimes community, um, to be honest about those things and how those th things actually drew us together as opposed to uh, apart. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. And I think um, knowing how we dance together, you know, through through this one tool of the intimacy checklist it's it's a foundation and it's an undergirding for when the storms come and they will mm -hmm. um you might get knocked silly for a couple of minutes and forget you know who am i and who are you and say things that we shouldn't say to each other but there's an undergirding and there's a way back mm -hmm. to hold on i'm sorry do you remember me? I remember you, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. So I, I, that's one thing that I love about knowing what, what matters to each other um, and merging those things that they could be a strength for us, yeah. for each other and to offer to the world. So I think naturally in intimacy, we start with the sexual intimacy. That's how the, the first draw uh, in our marriage so often and learning over the course of time that that intimacy really expands out. Like you were saying, Michael, it's so much more yeah. uh, than just sexual intimacy. And it could be amazing understanding your wife's story and what's happened to her and entering into that, how satisfying that is, um, that kind of intimacy and walking together that way. Yeah, I, I agree. We, we find over and over couples discover things about one another and and one another's history before their history began you know before mm -hmm. their history as a couple began and i and i and i think that is a just one of 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 seven or eight other things that we that we in the rendezvous project felt like were were, were intimacy um uh um departments intimacy la intimacy lanes you know different just a variety of different things to um, to even see how one another see those mm -hmm. things is 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 a great invitation. So I want to I want to keep talking about sessions. We're going to take a quick break, uh, and then I want to come back with your with another with another one of your sessions and and talk about that, and then just just kind of um, share some of the things that I think that make the Rendezvous Project unique from your standpoint. I'd love to okay. hear that. So we'll be right back on the Exploring More podcast with Jeff and Dana Andreessen and the uh, special edition for, for, for the Rendezvous Project in just a minute. Welcome back to the Exploring More podcast and um, talking about sessions of the Rendezvous Project and uh, our friends and, and part of the guide team, Jeff and Dana Andreessen are sharing a little bit about their heart. Um, the intimacy uh, was, was, a, was an important um, early in the, in the project, an important session, but uh, let's talk about your other session. And, and there's other interviews and, 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 and other things that you guys did so wonderfully, but can we talk about uh, what else you got to offer and, 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 and why that was important? Yeah, be before you do, I wanna give a quick encouragement to our listeners uh, with this intimacy uh, idea that, that Jeff and Dana explored so well in the Rendezvous Project and just say, you know, it is the, one of the th first things you think about to your point, Jeff, is sexual intimacy. But the encouragement I want to offer is, is what Jeff and Dana offered in that session was the depth of intimacy emotionally and just knowing each other and being known. All of that augments the physical intimacy. So mm -hmm. as an encouragement to that listener yes. that's going, you know, yes. there's something wrong in the physical <laughs> aspect of our, of our intimacy and our marriage because I feel 
we, we aren't either aren't engaging in that or I feel distant from him or from her. It's the, it's the uh, emotional, spiritual, personal intimacy that we want to encourage the exploration of, which will then mm -hmm. augment the physical aspect. Amen. For those, of us, well for those of us who can't spell augment, <laughs> what do you so, mean? Augment so, being, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, augment. But, but, but SJ, I noticed that most of my sex talk wound up on the cutting room floor. Well, we did not did not make it in there. It's actually and, in the uh, it's actually on the blooper reel, bro. Well, <laughs> we, we have one heck of a blooper reel because I think I talk about sex the best until I heard Joseph and, and Lori, Lori. Right? Yeah. and I got to thinking, wow, that was that was amazing. they named parts in in that <laughs> session. That, that is unbelievable, and that's really one of the things that se separates this uh, rendezvous project apart. I think. Yeah. yeah, that's funny. Uh, uh, well, the, the, uh, Lori and Joseph. Redeeming, yeah. yeah, redeeming sex, right? They're, they're, but yeah. I think I love I loved SJ what you said, you know, the augmenting part being that it's, it's, it's these things that, that foster intimacy, mm -hmm. the conversations, the time together that actually can be carried mm -hmm. to the, to, to the bedroom or wherever and to the, uh, sexual intimacy. And so when we, Look at uh, Joseph and Lori's, um, their offering. I agree, Jeff. It's it, there's a reason why it, it's this bonus session. It's this very important uh, thing, and, and and things in the rendezvous project lead to that, and, yeah. and and all the other things: orientation, understanding the assault against your marriage, her story, your story, and the glory, right? The glory of your marriage together. Uh, yeah, those yeah. things uh, all augment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, even the rendezvous project itself, it's 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 exploring all those things. And and now let's talk about sex. Yeah, right. you know, physical, so we're, physical. we're a few months away from 35 years into um, this uh, experiment. <laughs> it's not uh, an experiment uh, anymore. And, um, and, and, and it's never going to change. <laughs> My number one intimacy is that physical relationship. So We've now gotten a, an Airstream and we are traveling around the country and the idea is to get lost in the garden with her uh, and being naked and unashamed. Ne that is never going to change But for me. But one of the things I've noticed is how you have developed over the years and how interesting it is to get out there in the garden and to have her read me some of her poetry mm -hmm. and to see her talk to her friends around the fire and wonder where did she get that wisdom from mm. and so we're growing together and so we're not where we were five years ago even and so this intimacy checkup is finding out how she is growing and developing right. and me taking it in and learning and seeing the projection of her life mm. uh, she's a moving target mm -hmm. she's got eternity in her yeah. And so I have to assume that I have much more to learn uh, regarding her. And it's so beautiful to come out, but I'm still focused on, you know, that's just not going to change. Serena, cut that. <laughs> no, <don't. laughs> um, which yeah. leads to, honestly, what you, you were talking about. The, our other talk is about was our other session was on the glory of our lives together. Yeah. And um really what a what a neat little you know from intimacy and knowing each other and knowing each other's stories and knowing um what is it that makes us shine what is the glory of god that's been deposited in us and yeah. and how we how we unearth that any in one another and how we yeah. encourage each other to walk in that rather than it's so easy to default to all the things you don't do right or well, or that get on my nerves. Why is that so easy? But to, but to be pursuing each other's glory, you know, I see, I see you, you know, and I'm going to call that out. So I, Dana, that was I, a fun I, talk. Well, I, and I want to talk, I want to spend the rest of our time talking about that where, you know, I, I realized that I can, I can default towards maybe championing or pursuing my kids' hearts that way mm. you know, and let mm. them try things and let them explore and let them 
you know, succeed and fail and it's okay. And, but turning to my spouse, what are you doing? Why did you do that? You know, and, and, and not bringing uh, this sentiment that you're talking about, what is it that God's deposited in her or him, you know, your spouse, what's he deposited there that is yours to treasure that that's yours to, to, to partner with God, to water, yeah. to, to cultivate like in the garden, Jeff, like you said, to, to see flourish to, to bring and protect it, yeah. protect it against the world and the harsh of harshness of the unholy trinity. And so I, I love that all the sessions, you know, they, they move, they all, it's like Jeff, they move in a linear way because it's, it's one to 12, right? Mm -hmm. But it also feels like me, to me, Dana, like we're in your kitchen and watching you make something. Ingredients are going in. Yeah, you no, know, and and it's coming out, and we're all going to enjoy that. And it's so it's pieces and parts, it's ingredients, and so when we get to the glory of your lives, you know, um, it, I'd love for that to be the first talk, but we, in the linear way, we we before we got there, it's like we need to talk about what's in the way of that, right? We mm -hmm. need to talk about what's come against that, and we need to talk about in your right. marriage you know, the enemy wants to use one another to diminish one another. Right. And God wants to partner with one another to yeah. for the glory, small g, the glory of, of one another and to, mm -hmm. and to see what we are together. I want you just to keep, if you'll, if you'll continue in this lane, Jeff and Dana, yeah. talking about, I, I, don't, I don't know anybody else that's talking about that. Mm. I think mm. it's one of the things that sets the Rendezvous Project apart. What do, what do you make together that the world needs? Yeah, yeah. You know, um, I, I when I look at our, our life and I think about the tragedies that we've experienced, uh, I think I used the quote uh, from Dickens uh, in that session that uh, I took her hand and, and we walked out of the ruined places together, that there was resurrection after uh, the the bomb had exploded and eventually we, we walked out of that and this way of looking back and thanking that bomb going off uh, that that's what made us who we are and brought out the glory of our life uh, that there's this beautiful journey that a marriage takes yeah. and, exp and experiences all those things and now having a experience that explosion and the, and the depths that that took us to, we now have the, the breadth uh, to walk with another couple going through it right. uh, together. Um, we've yeah. been there and we can say, oh, this is actually good. Some of these, cert some of these certifications and trainings are painful. They're, they're uh, painful. They make you see. experts in flying that or sailing that or, or guiding that. And, and I, I think that's so well said and, and it's so important. Yeah. It's, is it, was it your session right before ours? I can't remember the healing and training is yeah. what leads us to yeah. discovering the glory, you know? Was, yeah. And, and it's pretty, that's what you said. It's the, there's, there's the bomb, but then there's in the bomb, there's this training that's happening and there's this healing that's going on in the secret places that, oh, yeah. that the enemy doesn't see, but that God sees and that he's mining and yeah. So. Yeah, the, the healing is so important. Um, yeah. There's actually two sessions on healing. Right. Part so, one and part two. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we so that we understand um, how important it is. Um, and, and there's a complexity to it, but then a simplicity as well, once you're aware mm -hmm. of what's mm -hmm. going on. So yeah, we, we love that. So um, so what does that look like in your day-to-day -day life? You guys have talked a little bit about it, about it sort of in a, in a, um, sort of in, in an overview, right? Pursuing one another's glory, but do you have any like recent examples of how you were, had to do that or had an opportunity to do that? Or, uh, what's that look like day-to-day, -day, like practically? Honey, what do you got? Uh, well, um, <laughs> I got exiled to the upstairs bedroom yesterday for snoring. Uh, and so I'm uh, kind of a little disoriented right now. I didn't get to sleep with her last night, you know? And, uh, so um, gotcha. what, what, 
uh, what, what is well, what, okay, I, I don't know. That's kind of put me on the spot here. It is. I'm, I'm gonna tee it up. I'm gonna tee it up. So, okay. what the glory of Jeff, his sevenness yeah. in the Enneagram, this 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 trial, the bomb of 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 COVID and and early retirement, and 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 all of a sudden there's you're you know I, I, so Jeff loves this. All of a sudden I know your story. All of a sudden there's uncharted maps. There's uncharted space, mm -hmm. which Jeff goes, oh my gosh. <laughs> Yay! And Dana and, goes, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right. And so, and so I think I, I, I look at your lives, right? And this is a great example, listeners, of how even living in community, like, you, you know, I, I, see, I see it, right? I, I can't not see it. So here goes Jeff on Dana, come with me on this adventure, right? And, and, and Dana's all about because uh, she's, I know her, she, she handles the, she keeps Zoe's um, resources uh, accounted for. She's, she's part of the women's team, bookkeeper. She brings organization. So, right, Dana's like, okay, where are we going? No, 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 that's the wrong question. Come with me. Would you come with me, right? And, and so here's, here's the, the, so the glory of both of you is right there. And, it, and it's getting the chance to mm -hmm. merge, but it's, but it's got to, it's got a little bending to do. So I think even in recent days, SJ, I'm not trying to answer their question. I'm trying to tee this up. Yeah, um, sure. Here's their glory. But I actually have what, a thought about that as you're saying that. What does that look like? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. So I do love his wings, you know, that he, he wants to go and fly. There is something so attractive about that because I am the roots girl. And I think it's a great compliment that we, we offer each other roots and wings, you know? And um, so even in this exploration, this just came to my mind as you're talking, Michael, we were in St. Augustine in our RV and um, it, enjoying the beauty and being away. And we met a couple there from Oklahoma who, so you're the explorer who got us there and you're the storyteller who drew them in. And then this woman and I, are, are, she's just telling me her story. I'm like, I'm surprised at some of the things that she's sharing. Mm. And maybe it's my rootedness. I don't know what it is, but we enjoyed them so much that he sent Jeff a book and we've kind of kept in touch a little bit. They're gonna meet us in Tybee Island in March. They're going to drive from Oklahoma to do some camping with us. So mm -hmm. I, I just think, Lord, what do you have for us out here in this exploration? You, you know, right. in the way of wings and roots, you know, we're, we're out there and yet we're also inviting people to rootedness and to. In the kingdom. Yeah. In the, in the kingdom. Yeah. yeah. They're believers. They're yeah. Anyway. So my, my, my job at the campsite is to go around and meet people and maybe tell a joke or two to get them into our campfire at night, because then I want them to meet Dana, which is the real gold uh, in the relationship here, the real depth. Um, yeah, I love the idea that um, in, in this particular marriage, you know, Jeff's ready to go and Dana's making sure he has his underwear. <laughs> Uh, that's important. <laughs> that, that what needs to be Laughing. packed what needs to be packed and and and, mm -hmm. and and make sure that the checklist right is is uh is in play and so i i think it's one funny and yet it, it, it's a great yeah. example of what do we make together mm -hmm. that yeah. in, instead of it being constraining to one another it actually we we, we see it being freeing we see mm -hmm. it being liberating we see it being complementary yeah, in ways that uh, in, in, you know, in, in the words of Jerry Maguire, right, you complete me. Uh, there's a reason why mm -hmm. people love that line and, mm -hmm. and of that story and that and that that part of that lives on and on and on and on. Because that's it resonates with with a part of us that I want that I want to mm -hmm. find mm -hmm. somebody who could complement and, and complete my Ezra Canego, as Robin mm -hmm. says, yes, question that um, who will fight for me. And, and, and who will, um, you know, think of me when, uh, when, when we're apart and even together. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I think the glory session, um, friends, is, uh, is gold. And, and, and the invitation to even consider that there's something good in you. When the world yeah. tells us there's, that there's not. And, and sometimes, honestly, from church, we can feel yeah. that, that oppressiveness and that, that beating 
mm-hmm. of, um, you know, there's nothing good in you. No, that's not right. true. Christ is in me. I'm, I'm a believer. Why are, yes. you, why are you pointing at me? Why, yes. Why are you hitting me with that? No, I, I am in Christ and he's in me. Right. He made this dwelling place good. Yes. And I am learning how to be good in him. You, you don't have to use that phrase every time we talk about goodness, you know, that, oh, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not prideful. I know who made me this way. Yeah. I know who's giving me a part of his glory and I know who's expecting me. To yeah. Walk and, yeah. and that this is now the truest thing about us. The truest thing about us is what God has made clean yeah. and good and redeemed and it's holy. Story. Yeah. And is restoring yeah. it. You know, we're, yeah. we're, we're yeah. working to, back towards the garden. We're yeah. working, and, and the story's heading there. We know we get the garden back. Yes. Yes. I can't wait. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Years yeah. like this make that even more appealing. Yes. So, yeah. Jeff, you had a thought? Go ahead. We're at a great point in our life where we've gone through all of the house expansion, kids, possessions, and now getting to shed some of that and travel a little bit more lightly, but yet with greater purpose. Mm-hmm. And um, and moving out into the unknown a little bit with more of a focus on there is more. And I think we're looking for him. And I think if anything, if I look forward to our marriage is, is that, you know, if Jesus turned the water into wine, he did that at the end of the wedding. And that th- that th- the best is yet to come in our marriage. And, and I want to get every last drop of wine out of that bottle. Mm. Uh, I don't want to leave anything on the table. And so this idea of moving out, I want to live that he has more surprises for us in the future, mm-hmm. um, that he's developed us for a reason, right. uh, that we have no idea where we're going and who we're going to meet, but I'm looking forward to being surprised. I would say that about glory too, is that there's always more to be discovered. Yeah, I think married couples can can get into a space of, oh, I know you, I know all about you, but we've both discovered that. Oh my gosh, I didn't ever see that quite that way in you before, or oh my gosh, I didn't know that about you. I remember there was one couple that was with us at rendezvous early on, and they were married for fifty years, and they're like, right. you know, we'll we'll. This will be good. And a good, at checkup. The, a good checkup. And at the end, he's like, oh my gosh, I learned things about my wife that I had never known before because of the way we, we invite couples into questions and interactions mm-hmm. and time alone with God together. Um, yeah. yeah. So there is yeah. always more to discover together. Oh, I love that, Dana. And one of the things that you guys do so well uh, as we're as we're circling the airport here and getting ready to land this. End, yeah. Um, one of the things that you guys do so well is invite people to the to the idea that if you have the eyes to see, the ears to hear, and the heart that is willing to understand, you can you can move closer towards each other and be more intimate with one another, even after thirty five years of marriage together. So um, yeah. I love that yeah. story, your stories that you guys shared. Thank you so much for joining mm-hmm. us on the podcast and and sharing mm-hmm. your hearts. There's it's funny, Jeff, uh, you were talking about shedding things and, and traveling more lightly. And I know there's a story in there about loading the Airstream uh, that you guys could share in regards to your glory. But we don't yeah, so, to so, save um, for next so, time. Save it so, for next time, you said. Oh, save it for next time. time. Uh, okay, yeah, but well, I, l- let her cut this. But okay, okay so we're, we're, going, we're going camping in the woods for seven days. In the woods, just me and her out there. Uh, in the Smoky Mountains. And so, you know, my Airstream is packed to the gills. I have literally 100 pounds before I exceed max gross weight. And so as I'm loading up Dana's uh, material or and things for the trip, I noticed that for seven days in the woods, she has 16 hangered items. <laughs> 16 hangered items. Yeah. I layered. And, 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 <laughs> no, you layered after I I, I, I I challenged you on that. You know, I said, honey, where are we going to go with all these clothes? And so then I only had to take eight hangered items out. But I noticed that those eight hangered items were layered. 
You yeah. just simply you, you just simply put it, anyway. put put them on the same one. Yeah. So again, yes, traveling lightly, uh, but um, uh, with 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 purpose. I did want to share, even with our friends in Charlottesville who were going through this. They've been married for over forty for forty years. It'll be forty one years, and I don't know that they've ever done a marriage weekend together. And mm -hmm. so they've been doing the rendezvous uh, as part of the launch team. And um, I was asking them, what do they think How so far? Mm -hmm. And um, my friend said, she said, you know, I, it's been great to do the intimacy checkup and the Enneagram stuff because it's been a way for us to connect in ways that we haven't in a very right. long time and it's to discover so things about each other. And then she said, even her husband said, when she shared one of her stories, oh my gosh, that explains so much. Mm -hmm. and it, yeah. That's great. So, and then I got a text from one of the guide team members uh, who said, we just watched your intimacy section, session and my wife gets Zoe now. I've gone to these retreats by myself, but I have never, I've failed miserably at coming home and trying to explain what I just experienced without her. And these videos brought her into the message of Zoe and what's going on and why I'm so excited. Yeah. What, what, as we wrap up, you two, what I, what, what, what falls on my heart so gently from God is this, that what, what we, why we created this was so that the rendezvous project for couples could become the rendezvous practice. Mm -hmm. Right. That, that this journey, whether it's a weekend with other friends, whether it's weekly with a, with a small group. Uh, together or via Zoom, or whether it's just you and and your spouse taking taking on the videos, the the participant guides, and 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 walking with God together in that way, mm -hmm. that the rendezvous project would become a rendezvous practice. Yeah. And that and that you would be called and and summoned and wooed by the by the song of God to come and come away from the busy. And come and dance, come and dance, come and hold, come and remember. Yeah. And, and and then what I love what you guys do and and what is such an invitation and, and then dream together. Where yeah. where's yeah. here? Yeah. What, what to 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 to, yeah. to rally desire and and raise the longing and and again and, and yes. permission. I'll hold those so gently if you'll tell me, sweetheart. Yes. What is it that, yeah. that you you long for that you that you would love to do that I can help you do that you know so conversations um exploration history all of those things that there's a practice that that we hope the rendezvous project sets up for a couple so Andresians you're awesome can't wait for the hey, uh, we've got some know. stuff in Charlotte coming up we're going to get together we got some uh yeah. things that the women's deepening weekend uh, Dana talking about um, all, I mean, so many good, good environments that we're hopeful to create for people to connect with God and each mm -hmm. other. So love doing this with you guys. Thanks hey, for us and, too. and same here. And this is what redemptive community is. You guys bring out the best in us. We love you. Yeah, I love you too. So thanks friends and allies for joining us. SJ, you want to tell them what to do? Uh, yeah, if you've got any questions or uh, want to connect with the Andresians, send us an email uh, at exploringmore at zoe.org. We'd love to hear from you there. Mm -hmm. And uh, give it, check out the Rendezvous Project. Go to the rendezvousproject.com and uh, zoe.org for more information about upcoming events. Uh, if you would leave us a rate or review on your podcast platform of choice, we'd, we'd love that. It helps us to be found and, and helps to get the message out. Yeah. Till next time, continue to explore with God because there's always more with God. Yes. See you next time.